hi guys welcome back to mmi so guys uh, in the last uh, video we have seen the diffusion which is nothing but the movement of atoms and molecules uh, across a uh, unit area with respect to time so i have uh, you know given some examples well guys diffusion is of two types first is the steady state diffusion that is the fixed first law of diffusion whereas the second one is a non steady state diffusion that is the fixed uh, second law of diffusion so guys in this video we are going to learn this fixed first law of diffusion which is the steady state conditions so guys i am having over here x axis and uh, y axis the x axis denotes the distance measured in x whereas the y axis denotes the concentration of diffusing atoms that is c so consider uh, there is the flow of electrons in this particular line at distance x that is the solute atoms are flowing in x direction so this is a uh, atom first at plane 1 this is the second atom at plane 2 so guys uh, the concentration at atom 1 is c1 which is at higher side and the concentration of atom 2 is c2 which is on the lower side whereas the distance suppose we have for one we have x1 and for second we have x2 so guys uh, check out what happens basically at this first atom so i have made it slightly easier for you to understand so this is a particular cross sectional area we can call it as a unit area so in this particular area we have the plane 1 and the another plane which is 2 so considering there are atoms which are present at plane 1 and uh, plane 2 so these are the atoms which are present at plane 1 and 2 these atoms are tend to move in particular direction so this goes to the right right this goes to the left this also goes to right so the net force is goes to right over here in this case this also goes to left yeah this is right and this is also goes to right so the net flow is from 1 to 2 so the concentration of the atoms at plane 1 and 2 is constant hence this condition is the steady state condition so there is a net flow of the atoms from higher concentration to lower concentration that is from point 1 to 2 the flow can be expressed as the j that is nothing but the flow flux it can be defined as the number of the atoms passing through a plane of unit area perpendicular to the direction of diffusion hence the flux can be defined as the flux can be expressed as which is nothing but the j is equals to minus d into dc by dx hence d is the diffusivity in this case which is measured in centimeter square per second and dc by dx is the concentration gradient which is atoms per cubic centimeter into centimeter as the diffusion is from higher concentration to low concentration we have the negative sign is used hence the flow of the atoms by the atomic diffusion equals to the diffusivity d times to the diffusion gradient that is dc by dx which gives us the formula j is equals to minus d into dc by dx so this formula or this equation is also known as the fick's first law of diffusion so guys i hope you understand you understand the first law fick's first law so in the next video we are going to learn this fixed second law of diffusion stay tuned guys please subscribe to my channel aim ami and after subscribing please press this bell icon so you will get notified of my latest video guys thank you guys have a great day